Today is the first uh, day that I've mowed this uh, area of ground that we've been working on for a while. Now as you can see some of the last grass down here that's under the shade of the tree it's um, it's very uh, low so there's nothing really off that but that'll come good in the next in the next round. Um, very happy with what has uh, come off this. Uh, here's a, an example of the stuff here. It's um, very good perennial rye grass. There's some buttercup, some clover and uh, there's some ordinary traditional grass through it as well but um, it's, it's, it's very nice, relatively clean, a few nettles in it which I don't mind at all because um, I made, um, as an experiment a few years ago, I made nettle hay. Um, actually it was from this piece of ground over there in the corner there was a lot of nettles and the cows went absolutely mad for it. Um, you couldn't give them enough of it. It's full of minerals, an excellent herb for man or beast. But uh, I've just turned this out and I'm hoping to leave it um, for today, turn it again tomorrow and um, we'll see then what it's like the following day. I just like to try and estimate how much is actually in this and potentially what could be in it um, if it uh, was to be reseeded in areas that are bare such as up there and thin spots down here. But um, very happy with the way it has, it has uh, mowed out and it's the first time ever any decent amount of forage was ever taken off this piece of ground because last year there was only a few row uh, this year it's the whole lot so fertilizer um or lime sorry lime uh, farmyard manure is all this got so i'm going to put a little bit of uh, fertilizer um maybe a bucket on it now when this is uh, taken off it and uh, see what comes back in the aftergrass so just a, a, a sample of what can be done